Just a reminder that that was a four button suit and a soul patch. No one, no one helped me out there. Rutgers is 3-0. and Did you know that? Well, it is true. They visit the big house to take on Michigan Saturday, who's also unbeaten. That number's 20? It is. What is that all about? Last time the Scarlet Knights were in a game where both teams were at least 3-0 and or better 15 years ago. A memorable Thursday night in Louisville on the mic. One of the great highlight readers that we have and still do have at ESPN. Stan Barrett on the read. Saw the Empire Stamp Building all lit up in scarlet night red. Welcome to Stan Red. I'm Carl Ravitch. What are we going to do next Thursday? Once beaten West Virginia, they're back on the clock against Pittsburgh. But that's next week. This week, Stan, a chance for Rutgers to not puff its chest out and say, R stands for Rutgers and respect us. Indeed. They have been playing football for 137 years at Rutgers, and the school says this is the first time that a ranked Rutgers team has played a ranked opponent. In Piscataway, New Jersey. What a scene tonight. Louisville came in number three in the country. Rutgers came in number 14 in the country. Louisville off to its best start in 81 years. Rutgers hadn't beat a ranked team since 1988. Eight and over the first time since 76 when they went undefeated for the whole season. As we mentioned, the Empire State Building all lit up for the Scarlet Knights. First quarter, no score. Louisville going in. Second and goal, Anthony Allen. Cardinals strike first blood. They led 7-0. Still first. Third and 13 for Louisville now. Brian Braun back to pass. Picked off. It's Devron Thompson who takes it to the Louisville 26. That came after a Rutgers turnover. And the Rutgers defense keeping it close. First play after the interception for Rutgers. Mike Teal going up top to Tequan Underwood. 26-yard touchdown. And just like that, they're tied at 7. And the crowd back into it. In Piscataway. Brian Brown, meanwhile, hearing it from his big brother Jeff Brown, who's not happy about the pick. Ensuing Rutgers kickoff. Louisville special teams, a big part of their season so far. Jawan Spillman. Hands up and wave, because it's goodbye for Spillman. He's going 100 yards for the touchdown. Put a terrible move on Jeremy Ito there, the kicker. Plenty of action thus far in the game. Second quarter, there would be more. Louisville up 15 7. Brown to Jimmy Riley. Touchdown. Brom 13 of 27, a buck 63 in the touchdown, but it was his worst game yards-wise this season. Louisville still up 22-7. Later in the second, Rutgers down 25-7. They go to their main man. It's Ray Rice, 18-yard touchdown. He came in third in the nation in rushing. Rutgers down 11. Third quarter now. Rutgers trailing 25-14. Teal going up top again, this time to Kenny Britt. He's going 64 yards down to the five. Defender pokes the ball out, but Britt manages to stay in bounds and recover the fumble. Take another look at William Gay with the strip. And heads up job by Britt. Only chance three defenders in the area, but he comes up with it. That would lead to this. First and goal. Rice, a buck 31 on 22 carries. Two-point conversion good. Rutgers down just three, and they're going nuts in Jersey. Fourth quarter. Same score, first and 10 for Rutgers after another Louisville punt. Their defense kept making play after play. It's right, starts to get cooking now. 16 yards on that carry. That would set up Ito. 46-yard field goal attempt. And he knocks it through, and the game is tied at 25. Rutgers comes all the way back from down 25-7. Their defense for seven straight punts. They got the ball back again. Teal to Brian Leonard, the senior who's seen his carries reduced because of Rice's emergence in the offense. And he puts Rutgers in good field position, and then it's Rice once again, 20 yards on that carry. Here comes Ito now, 33 yards away. He can win it for Rutgers. 21 seconds to go, and he hooked it. Wait a minute, flag on the play. The call, offsides against Louisville. Big mistake for the Cardinals, and Ito would make him pay. Another try from 28 yards away. The verdict for Ito, good. Final chance for Louisville. And Brom is sacked on the play, and they can celebrate in New Jersey. As Rutgers alum Queen Latifah said, you have to respect Jersey. Rutgers, 9-0. Greg Ciano has come there and turned this program completely around.
the, 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 the overhead shot is the thing that everybody remembers about that night. I forgot that they, they, they conked their coach on the head with you. Got, you got to get that. Yeah, thing right. get it out. But the other thing that I always remember is like they lost and ended up in some iffy, they ended up in the Texas Bowl. Yeah. Not great. That night, though. Huh? That night. Pretty good. Pretty good. good.